Uh, welcome to Volleyball 101. This is a quick video uh, review for U Prep uh, High School uh, ladies. I'm excited to see you guys playing, uh, seeing a lot of things that are looking better. Um, today, I really want to focus on the rotations and what we're trying to do in each rotation and um, go through some of the mistakes I'm seeing still. Okay, I'm excited to uh, help you guys a little bit. It's been a little bit of a while. And I hear you guys are getting better, and congrats on the win the other night. Okay, so let's watch. Okay, so it looks like we're in row six. Um, uh, first thing I'm noticing here is, uh, so we're in row six, we basically have set a front row, uh, middle, uh, left front, outside hitter, uh, one in position right there, three. So what I would like the uh, middle over here to do is actually start a little bit further off the net. What's happening right now is we're basically running an offense through the middle and through the outside. I think by starting a little bit off the net, what I'd like you to try and do is run uh, a slide and come around and go back. Um, and I think it will help us break up our offense a little bit more. Uh, in this rotation, I think our main attacker is Kennedy. Also, I said his front row, so let's get the ball on the net for Madison. Uh, one of the things we may want to consider too is passing the ball a little bit more middle. So on our pass location, be a little bit more here versus our traditional uh, a little bit more here. You get that, Gigi? That way it's not as long a distance for the setter in order to get the ball outside from here to here versus uh, from here to here. I think, Madison, that's something that I'm seeing is a little bit of a problem with you in all of these. We're not getting enough outside sets with enough distance to the antenna, especially for your sets to Cameron. Uh, Cameron's having some problems with her footwork that I'll show you guys in a little bit. But I think if we can pass a little bit more and get the ball outside, I think it will help Cameron and Kennedy with our hitting, which should be our main hitters in most rotations. Okay, uh, let's get it started. So again, look at this, Lauren. I think it's Lauren, number four. Uh, middle over here. I think your number is different on the jersey right now. But in this rotation, what would be much better is, you know, you practiced all season hitting opposite. So why don't we have you run here and run the slide? If we don't do that, so what's going to happen is the blockers, if I was playing against you as a coach, I would literally just stack my blockers up here. And then, you know, basically you're up against a two or three man block every single time. These, this team isn't very well coached if you're playing here. So you can see what's happening. But this blocker should be actually moved over all the way over here in fronting the middle. So something to consider. I think it's an easy fix. Uh, let's fix it and do that properly. So Lauren, run a back set on this. Kennedy, I like the location of the set. Notice the set's all the way outside to the pin. Kennedy gets a hit and kill. Okay, good, nice deep corner hit. Good set, Madison. That's what we want more of. Okay, so we're in rotation one now. Okay, opposite. This is a problem for me. Notice the set. It's a nice high ball and we got one blocker up. You should be up on this. Okay, and we should have two blockers up on this fronting them. So this should be a two-man block every single time, okay? Anytime they're running a high ball in the middle, there needs to be at least two people, maybe even three up on this. You see, that's impossible to dig. So that is a blocking error. Coach, uh, this is row one. So depending on the location of the set, if the set is running through the middle here, then Kennedy, you up to block it. If the set is running through where this one just ran through, then the opposite is up to block. So let's fix that. Two-man block on defense here. Okay, so we're in row one. Um, again, middle blocker. You don't need to be on the net. I want you more around the 10-foot line. Okay, so you're ready, ready to go. A main attacker in this rotation is Kennedy running the back set. Uh, I also like the opportunity that if the ball is passed through the middle, Lauren, you run it back to here. Okay, let's see what happens. 
Got a break. Okay, good. But Kennedy, you should be the main attacker in that rotation. Okay, so we are now in row two. Uh, Cameron's just come in. Okay, we still got three attackers front row. Uh, Kennedy, I saw this serve already, and I was kind of disappointed. I, you know, we worked so hard on your jump float serve, and I think you really got to spend some extra time after practice and before practice working on this. Um, at this stage, this part of the season, based upon your skill level, I think it's really unacceptable that you're doing a standing float serve. I think you're good enough, and that I think you haven't practiced enough or worked hard enough to get this consistent. So I think you should practice this in the evenings, off the practice, by yourself. But you got to have a jump float serve at this stage. Now, what's interesting here, watch this blocker. Oops, what happened? Okay. Is... The blocker, the opposite, actually jumped away from the set. You see how the ball is going inside? Look how it's going inside. And you're jumping away from that. Like you're not even near that. And you open up the seam. So I think we got to fix that and do that better. Okay, nice dig. Okay, Lauren, we have to run a two on this. And you got to hit that. Um, I think Savannah, you passed that ball. Remember on defense, we dig it high middle. Okay, that was a little too tight. I know it was an easy day, but you can do better than that. Okay, not bad block, Cameron. Kennedy, what's interesting here is you're not standing in a position where you're going to dig a ball. So right now, that ball is set back. Look at your location, Kennedy. You should be more on the line in the seam, okay? So you're almost behind the block right there, okay? So that's not a good place to be. You need to be in the meat of the shot here as they're hitting. Okay, so let's fix that. So we're seeing a few things on defense are going to improve. Two-man blocks. Um, you know, a little bit more like movement on our blocks, some of those things. So we are in row two right now. Okay. Cameron, this is your row. So in my opinion, this is row, your row where you need to kill balls. Um, I also wouldn't see mind seeing Lauren running that back set in this rotation. I think running a back two would be a very effective set for you. Um, you worked all summer on running that uh, back set. I think a back two up and down right behind the set, it would be very effective. Plus, it will pull the block from Cameron. Now, Cameron, we're going to get an opportunity to see some of the things that I saw you doing wrong here. Um, you know, I'm seeing some problems with your approach in terms of your timing step. And hopefully, we can see it on this play. Nice pass, Gigi. Okay. Lauren, notice how tight you are on this play. So, um, let's zoom in just a little bit there. You're so tight to the net, and we're running a high two. That's not a bad set. Lauren, you're already on the net approaching. you got to have your head facing her or get out of the way for the set right now. So you're running into approach without this. Uh, Twani, what I would do is I would practice uh, tossing balls and Lauren has to watch you and watch the ball. Right now, she's not even looking at anything. So she's like going into act as if she's hitting, but like there's no point. So Lauren, let's fix that. You can do that better. Okay. Like that was a good set. We could have crushed that ball. Okay, now, Maddie, for me in this rotation, our number one hitter should be Cameron. So you had two balls that you set. But I think you should be getting this ball to Cameron. Oh, what was that by them? That was terrible play by them. Okay. 
Now, Cameron, this is the one that we get an opportunity to see. Now, notice the ball is about to hit her hands. What step should you be on when that ball hits her hands? So you should be on your first step already, your timing step. Remember, we worked on this towards the camp. So I couldn't figure out what was wrong with your hitting. So what's happening right now is your approach, you're late on your approach one step right now. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to watch this. So imagine you're one step late on this. Okay, let's watch. So the ball's already left her hands. So because you're one step late, look at your footwork. You go right, left, right, and you don't have enough time to get that extra step out there. That's really, really powerful. Okay, so what we have to do, Twani and uh, Cameron, is we need to work on tossing balls. And when that ball hits the setter's hands, Cameron, you're already on your right step. So you're already there with your right step now as that ball hits her hands. The ball moves forward. Right, you're already on your right. You're taking your left right now. Right left, and then you're crushing that ball inside. So because you didn't take that right step early enough, you're forced to do that. Let's fix it. Okay, right step. Okay, let's look at that play too. Lauren, remember we run an up and down set. I want to run a set that's up and down on this. So Lauren, on this ball here, and I hope it's Lauren, I think it's Lauren, I'm almost positive it's Lauren. Lauren, you need to be almost coming in like this straight on her and running an up and down set. Okay, notice the block is lined up with you right now. If you do that, you're going to hit it right in between that seam of the blockers. Okay, also it's much easier to hit a ball that's going up and down versus a ball that's coming out. So, uh, Maddie, you need to chat with Lauren and practice this. Okay, again, just running a better combination on this. Okay. Okay, why don't we have a two man block? Opposite, anytime they're running middle like this, we need a two man block. Look at this, you got lucky. There needs to be a two man block up on this. One, two, opposite every single time. Lonnie, you got to work on her defense. It's terrible right now in terms of her blocking. <laughs> GG, why are you not jump serving? Ugh, GG, you're a very good player. You not jump serving is unacceptable in my opinion. Come on, Nate. That's come on. You're much better than that. Okay, I think Kennedy. All right, who's front row? Is it still Cameron? Yeah, Cameron. I would like to see a little bit of a better block on this. Look at your footwork. So shuffle. And look how low you are. You barely get over. So let's get a little bit more of an aggressive swing. I did a video uh, a few weeks ago, it's on volleyball one-on-one, -on -one, uh, where I compare Kerry Walsh and how you use your arms to get more jump on your block. Look at that video, I think it'll help you. Uh, Kennedy and Cameron, I think you guys are both doing the same thing when you're blocking. Okay, so we are in a row three right now, okay? Our main um, attack is, is um, Cameron on the outside, but I really like this middle too. So, um, Savannah, I haven't seen much from you. I thought we had really made some great progress during the camp and you were dominating. And it's kind of sad for me, I haven't seen that same kind of domination. Oh, look at this footwork. Okay, so, sorry Cameron, but I'm going to have to show you this again. 
whoopsie. So ball is coming in. See how late you are? You're not on your right step when that ball hits her hands. You need to be on her right step. You should be on your left already moving in and right, left. But because you're late, you're missing your hit. You're also not generating your full power because you're not having hips for power. Notice your hips are square to the net versus being opened up to the setter. And look at the set. That's a good set for you, Cameron. You should be crushing. I've seen you hammer balls like this. You should be beating this ball on this setter's head over here. Like you should be hammering that ball. But because you're not coming in right, look at how much space you have down the line here. Like look at this hole down the line. Like you should just be bouncing balls on her. Okay, so again, we've got to work on that approach. Twani, know this the timing. So when the ball hits the setter's hands, Cameron, you've got to be on your right step, then left, right, left. Okay. Cameron, for our team to be a great team, we're really going to need you. I don't know how to say this, but like in my opinion, you're the best hitter right now on that team. So you got to step up and show us and be our superstar. So I really need you to be that player for us. Okay, so we are in row four, set us front row. Cameron, this is a really good rotation for us offensively because we've got Savannah and Cameron front row. So I expect us to side out pretty effectively here as long as we have a good pass. It's a nice blocking rotation for. Now, the opposite. Now, did you notice that we had two blockers in? I don't like the seam, but at least we've got two blockers on there. Nice block, Gigi. Savannah, you got to try and run something on this. So, okay, that's a tough ball. Okay, try and just get off the net and try to run a red. I know that's kind of tough. Look, you got no approach. You're late. You're now going onto your right step. There. So the ball's already left hands on your right step. Um, Cameron. Left. Right. No extra left step. You're not getting all the way to the ball. Your not, hips are not open. You're not generating full power. You get a lucky swing. Let's run the two. Okay. Okay, notice the reason why Savannah's not hitting Maddie is your fault here. Okay, notice the set Maddie is not up and down. Savannah, you could run an up and down set on her right here, up and down, and have one blocker. So you literally take your approach like this, okay, and now you got one blocker and you're hammering that ball cross court there. You're hammering that ball seam, and you've got your tip that we love so much right here behind the blocker. But because the set is not up and down, notice that it's being shot across your body. It's very difficult to hit. So, Maddie, you've got to change that set up and down, and you need to work with the middles on this. Both you and Lauren need to get this right. Okay, good two-man block. Cameron, you got to fix your footwork. Notice, every single time, every single time, the reason you can't hit is because of your footwork. you got to fix this, Cameron. Okay, get a hold of me. If we need to do a three-way call with Twani and, and me and everyone else, I'm happy to jump on a phone call to go through this with you. But I worked hard with you this summer. You should be my best hitter on this team, Cameron. You're a senior. You should be dominating. This is what's stopping you from dominating as a hitter. So let's fix it this week. Red light, green light. <laughs> okay, so we are in row five right now. Got a lucky break out of that rotation. 
let's look at that one second. There's one thing I want to adjust here. Um, okay, when we run this rotation, Savannah, you got to think about maybe running um, a back set in this rotation, like a slot. So that way we can open up the ball for Cameron. Also, maybe a back two might be a good option or that up and down two. But we got to get a good pass in this rotation. You guys got a lucky break. Okay, good. All right, stop. Okay, let me get back here. I want to see. Ah, oh, Cameron, great. Nice to see a jump serve. Oh! <laughs> Spoke too soon. Okay, Maury, welcome in. Good to see you, Maury. Okay, so this is a rotation where passing matters. Okay, now there's some interesting things going on here. Okay, we have um, Kennedy in. Savannah, you got to be our dominant hitter here. you got to help Kennedy a lot. Uh, Maury, you got to focus on getting this ball outside. The one thing we want to think about is... Um, if Savannah's not running a back set, maybe passing a little bit more so we can uh, middle so we can get the ball outside to Kennedy. So Gigi, I want you to talk to the team to maybe pass a little bit more here. So it's a little bit more of a closer distance for Kennedy on this set. That means it's easier to get the ball all the way to the pin. Okay, uh, opposite that's passing. Now, I don't know what's happening there, but it seems like you're screening yourself. So, watch this. Savannah and Mari, she can't see. Look at this. So, look, we've got this big mess up here. Okay, and opposite, you're saying nothing. So, the reason you can't see now is you've got two players on their side blocking you, plus two players on your side. Let me try and zoom in on that. Oh, man. How are you gonna see through that? You see that? Look at your eyesight. You got no shot at that ball. Look at that. You gotta to talk to your players around getting out of your way so that you can see that. Okay. Um, okay, see it. Gigi, why'd you give that free ball right to the middle? Remember? Take out the outside, take out the middle, throw the ball to area one. Don't give them free balls like that, Gigi. Cameron, I mean, Maddie, on that, notice it's a fast set. When the ball is fast, where do they tend to hit? On a fast set, where do they tend to hit? The faster the set, the more they hit angle. And notice where you are standing. It's a fast set, and you're standing on a line. That was an easy block for you. So as soon as you see that ball going fast like that, take more middle. Also, notice you weren't even watching the hitter. You were watching the set. So because you weren't watching the hitter, you didn't make a good move and take. Remember, fast set, block middle. Tight set, block line. Often the net set, block out to uh, cross court. So cross court on a fast, or offset, tight set, block line. Yeah, Kenny, there's your ball. Step in there and pass that ball. You got shortened to area uh, four, five there. Game, we're getting screened by our own players. <sighs> Maddie, can't make that mistake. Just get the ball in, give something hittable. What's crazy is on this rotation right here, the setter and you guys can completely shift here, this direction. So you guys could be standing over here. There's absolutely no reason to be blocking your own players. So let's get completely out of the way and start over here on the side. And then let's think about having Savannah run basically a back set. Like let's run Savannah on a back two. That way we open up the ball for Kennedy and we run a red that way on the back, a back red back set and then um kennedy on an outside set but blocking our own set is this is terrible so fix this 20. 
Still in row five. Gigi, that was better. Notice you gave them a more difficult ball. Nice block, Maddie. Notice the two-man block there opposite. We want to get a two-man block up on everything if we can. Savannah's in. Lauren ser uh, Savannah serving. Nice serve. Nice serve. Free ball. Lauren, you got to get a block up on that if they're coming in that aggressive with an approach. Okay, last rotation, rotation six. Main hitter here is Kennedy. Lauren, you got to come back in here and try and run a slide on this or a back set. Okay. Lauren, I'd have you starting a little bit more off the net, and then I would break and run like crazy and run a back set on this. Okay, I think we already did rotation six. We already went over this. Nice play, Lauren. That was very smart. Okay, guys, so I uh, said a lot of stuff. There's a lot of great easy things to improve. Like, I think we could get 20 to 30% better immediately just by improving these quick things. Uh, it's really nice to see. I've been getting your updates on Facebook and seeing all of those things. It's really nice to see. Um, Twani, it's great to see some of the changes you've made in your coaching style. I appreciate that. The goals seem to be a little bit calmer. Uh, and yeah, I'm here to help. So if there's questions, relay them through Twani. I'm happy to help. Cameron, you're our superstar. We got to fix our hitting this week. I would set up some extra reps with Maddie and start doing that. Um, I'm looking at the sets. Originally, I thought Maddie wasn't getting the ball far enough out on the outsides, but I think you're just not getting your footwork there with your timing step. Um, Savannah, I want to see more from you. Lauren, I want to see more from you. I want to see that up and down set through the middle. And I want to see um, that slide or that back set more to open it up for the outsides. We have to start running that. Uh, opposite, let's focus on getting our blocking there. Gigi, more of a general in the back row. Um, when you see things like that, that I just saw with the rotations and the opposite getting blocked by our own players in row five, we've got to fix that. So I think you've got to try and help and look for those things. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Uh, for coaches out there, this is a service I offer for our volleyball one-on-one -on -one summer camp. Uh, schools that we do camps with. So if you have questions, shoot me a message. Uh, if you want to book a summer camp and have this as a service during a season, I'm happy to help and work with you or send one of our team members out to work with you. Okay, thanks.